Y'all go, if y'all don't know our name, y'all gonna learn it eventually. You gonna learn it today? But uh, my name is Bartholomew Samuel Raw to the third. One of those names is real. Now, which one it is? That's for you to find out. Ask your mother. <laughs> Ask your mother about me. She knows how I hard to it on that thing. <laughs> you to? Don't worry about it. What I do behind closed doors is what I do behind closed doors. You might. Last last episode, you over here about you mind your own business, but now you want to know if I hock to it or not. Let me tell you, you, were, you said it out loud. <laughs> well, I have to address it. It's only me and you in this room. Well, luckily for you, I'm undressed. You don't have to address anything. Okay. What's going on, on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Barely Brother Podcast. My name is Cisco. My name is Ratu. Bartholomew over there. <laughs> so uh, this one, I actually wrote up quite a few things gonna be some verses going on here uh i tried to do it but uh, anime versus american cartoons comic book characters Ooh. that so um there are uh, a number of different things now when i was writing this down uh-huh. um i did uh go off the internet to see if there were any pre we made list of of a similar topic okay so um luckily there were so i did grab a couple from them uh and i came up with my own so i'm just gonna uh run through it some of these i know they're animes you didn't watch so i'm gonna avoid those for the time being thank you sir and uh we will get back to those after ratu watches that anime i am not an anime head as much as you'd like to believe i am slowly but surely easing my way into it so if i He's say culturing- something Culturizing himself, Cult- culturing, culture, cultivating. No, it's not cultivating. No, it's not cultivating. Anyways, He's- I am getting up there. Okay, but if I say something that y'all don't like, so be it. Oh well, yeah, so be it. Oh well. Those are these are his opinions in the current time. Yep. These are my opinions in the current time. If you, but it doesn't matter because we're right. Yeah, we are well, right. He, he's technically I'm on the left, but I get you. I think on screen I'm on the left, and you're. Regardless, we write, okay? Right. And if you don't like what I like to say, let us know in the comments. <laughs> you can let him know in the comments. You let me know at dinner when I'm at your mom's house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm harmless. Okay, so I'm going to need to... Uh, I actually wrote down a couple of, of like, banger verses on here. Some of these are actually cartoon versus cartoon. Because okay. uh, I thought it would be a good topic. Um, have you watched Yu Yu Hakusho? I didn't finish it all the way through. You don't want you didn't finish it all the yeah, way. Yeah, so you probably can't. You can't ask that. Can't, can't, can't ask me that. Really? Mm-hmm. You sorry. know who Yusuke Yurameshi is? I do. I do. Okay, what about Roni Kenshin? Mm, no. Didn't watch that either. Sorry. There goes my first two. Like I said, y'all. <laughs> I go my first two. All right, so I'll start off with uh, the third one on my list, which is from the internet. It is uh, Father from Kids Next Door. <laughs> you remember? Uh, Black Flames Man. Yeah. Versus Father from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, oh brother. <laughs> it would have to be. I I personally would say from, from uh, Full Metal. Big full metal. I don't have to go for that, man. You know, out of out of bias, of course I'm choosing Full Metal Alchemist. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't say I'm a big Kids Next Door fan. I do, I do like the series. Yeah, I do too. No, it, it's iconic, and it it something that I watched throughout the years. However, when I when I saw this question. I did a little bit of research. Father from Kids. Okay. Man is actually a beast. <laughs> He's really good. He's a beast. I only say uh, for full medical, full metal, is because I just saw it recently. I remember Father from Kids Next yeah. Door. He is a menace. Man. I mean, both of them are menaces. He was Father, but he was Daddy. <laughs> on on Kids Next Door. No, 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 no. Like he was, he was Daddy for real. Like he was. He was boy was whipping them kids. And that was only oh yeah, 
G-rated, PG-rated. I don't know what Kids Next Door was at that time. But I'm telling you, if if it was at least anime-wise, he would be whooping them. Oh, no, them. yeah, no. Th- these kids would be bloody yeah. and broken on the floor. Yep. But, you know, just thinking power-wise, you know, uh, kids, next door, kids Next Door father, you know, he's able to fly because of the fire. He is very smart. But father from uh, Brotherhood, uh, he's very smart as well. I mean, he he played a whole civilization so he can get a human body. Trick, he tricked everybody, including the emperor. Man was playing chess. 3D chess. 3D. While kids next door is playing checkers. <laughs> Man. You want to talk about another menace who was father? Oh boy, that that fused his daughter. <laughs> You mean the greatest dad ever? The greatest dad ever. Dad of the year. <laughs> and if you don't know who we're talking about, we're talking about Shao Tucker. There you go. Thanks for the name. I, think, I was like, I, I, I remember the name, but right now it drew a blank. So I was just like, I'm going to just. I think his title was The Life Sewing Alchemist. Life Sewing Alchemist is why. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that's what it was. I think that, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I do believe that's what his his uh, al- alchemist title was. Oh Life Sewing goodness. Alchemist. Shao Tucker. Crazy, right? Oh man! Although the reason is he got that title is because he did it before with his wife. <laughs> oh, literally a figurative <laughs> man's a menace. That is a menace. But sticking on the Full Metal Alchemist train, we have Edward and Elric Alphonse versus Batman and Robin. Damn it! And whatever Robin you think is the best Robin, whoever. For me, it's Dick Grayson before he becomes uh, Nightwing. Okay, that's my that's my dynamic duo in American comics. And then Edward and Elric Alphonse, and I'm talking about Edward and Elric Alphonse both having access to the door of truth. Yeah, both being able to do. Uh, Alchemy without a transmutation circle. Given, given it's prep from, time, bro. It's prep time. I know it's prep time. <laughs> it's all if it's all if it's given prep time. Batman's gonna win. I feel like Batman's gonna win because yeah. the brothers, as strong as they are, they have a soft spot. Batman's gonna find that soft spot. He's gonna be like, "Hey, you want to bring your mom back?" <laughs> huh? Yeah, but Batman has that same flaw. That, true too. What if, what, but, if, what if Edward is be like, bring your parents back? He probably would have done. He would have known something. He would have known something of the alchemy word let's, world to be like, I'm not fooling for some kids. Okay, from Kid Man. Now let's eliminate prep time. Okay, right the off the bat, they just ran into each other. They just ran into each other. Batman, not knowing anything about alchemy, probably thinks it's magic. He probably knows something of the alchemy. He, pro- he probably does. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. Batman it is, is Batman. intelligent. It's, I'm Batman. Yeah. He knows. He knows. <laughs> and so we're we're talking about any gadgets in in his in his belt. Same thing with Robin. Okay. Versus it, and their combat skills. Now, Batman hand to hand, hand to hand. He is trained. Yeah, he's able to keep up. With the rest of them. Yeah. And the rest of them, I'm talking about the Justice League. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hand to hand, Batman will probably. Yeah. I know, mean, still whoop them. You know, they, Ed and Al, they got training from teacher, but I don't think, I think a lot of their cunning comes from their creativity in being able to create things, uh, alchemy. Yeah. So, like, I can, ugh, this is such a crazy debate. Because it's like, if Batman, I mean, I'd say when Batman finds a way to like contain them, they could just open a door. Yeah. Create an escape. Yeah. Right. So intellectually, I do think Batman has upper hand. Yeah. Because I think by the time he sees the brothers start doing this, like maybe two times. Yeah. Maybe even by the first time, he'll know. Yeah. Like, he'll take note of that, like, oh, he he needs to stop the brothers from clapping. Yeah. The clap brothers. He got to stop them. So, 
Yeah, it's tough to say, but I would have to like even getting without getting too deep into it. I I would have to give it to Batman. I think Batman. If it Robin was a seven Day. game series, it would be like four Batman, three Elric Brothers, but it would still be head to head. I still have to go to Batman. Yeah, honestly, but yeah, if it was it will, if it was out of four, yeah. it's like oh, that's even rough though. It's a percentage one. I can't see. I can't see events where Ed and Al take a dub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But overall, you think Batman and Robin take the cake? It's funny because we haven't even included Robin in this discussion. Yeah, that's even without Rob. Robin's and I said, <laughs> I said Dick Grayson as yeah. my Robin. That's that oh, is my Robin. It's even better. Yeah, it's just a battle of orphans, <laughs> and that one hits home. But not them. <laughs> well, see, I wrote this one down because I was like, they both lost their parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the all, same, like the all same, all same background. Same yeah, yeah. Same like kind of similar background. I was like, I was like, oh, this would be good, but I think it does come come down to fighting prowess, experience wise. Yeah, yeah it's it's got to go to Batman and Robin. Yeah. To, as much as I hate to say that, is. Uh, Shout out to them though. Shout out. Shout oh no, out. yeah. But that Batman will have to take the cake on that one. Batman will have to take. It. Now this one was a wild card. I think this one was actually from the internet. Um, next up is gonna be Aaron Yeager versus Ant Man. I think Aaron Yeager's taking the cake. He's taking this man committed genocide. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna bring that up, but this man committed. Genocide for his friends. Yeah. I mean, see, I'm not too deep in the Ant Man comics, but I know he's a force to reckon with. Uh, he definitely is. He's absolutely a force to be reckoned with. Definitely is. But, but I'm that man is on rage. Yeah. Like Aaron Yeager. <laughs> Aaron Yeager, I think endurance wise, ability wise, yeah. just outlast Ant Man. Yeah. Just from a physical standpoint. Now, Ant Man. We're not talking about Ant Man from the MCU. He's not that smart. Yeah, we're taking we're taking we're, we're, we're talking comic book Ant Man, who's actually an intellectual. Um, yes, he is smart, but I don't think he can figure out how to defeat Aaron Yeager before Aaron Yeager stomps the fuck out of him. <laughs> All he needs to do is just call the rumbling and then just stomp out the whole world. Yeah, he. Just for what? For a 1v1 battle? For a 1v1 battle? Yeah. I now would have to give it to Aaron Yeager right off the bat. Not even digging too deep into it. Aaron Yeager right off the bat because that man was <laughs> genocide. <laughs> I'm not talking about Adolf Hitler genocide. Okay? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I got love, all right? But this man sent giants stomping out the world the mother fucking world yeah i think aaron yeager takes the cake i know uh so all right moving on to the next one now this one i came up with i think this is this is hard a really hard one and this is probably what i'm gonna clip we have all might at 100 percent in his prime versus a fully enraged Hulk. Who is taking that win? Now, a fully enraged Hulk is almost, almost like God tier. Because that's, yeah. Now, enraged Hulk, like he is of mind as well. Like he knows what he's doing. Like Intelligent Hulk, or is he just on a rampage? See, now, that 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 is a very good question. Because I would have to say yes. We'll have to stack him in, in his best possible way. Because we're giving All Might in yeah. his prime 100%. Yeah. Where he was where he was saving motherfuckers. Yeah. And flying off to save more people. Yeah. Before the first people even blinked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now... There isn't too much uh, info about All Might in his prime. 
like all we know is he's god level like think of like superman yeah. all like the top tier like superman captain america like those level america mm -hmm. like for my nation heroes yeah. all into one yeah it's, that's all might that's all might at 100 percent versus not even a giant but like Oh. Aaron Yeager, but just just bulky, swinging around with a bat with a Batman kind of intelligence a little bit. Yeah, if we're you know, talking about like, guy was Bruce Banner smart. Yeah, Bruce Banner smart with again. But how does one kill a like, Hulk? I don't think is there a comic that depicts the Hulk as being killed. I know you know. I mean, they had a whole series shipping him off to another planet. Yeah. Because he was too much of a threat. And he just ended up symbolizing one of them. Made that plan of his bitch. Um, I think because... Yeah, you. there's no way you could... I think what he dies of old age, pretty much. Kind of like uh, 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 Wolverine. Yeah. But there's no way of killing him. I don't think... All Might my, all my can, can beat the living crap out of him until the core of the earth... But then even All Might has to go back to his... Yeah, he has to rest at some point, too. Yeah, he has to rest. His stamina... It, there is a cap to his stamina. It is very high. But he... He will have his limit. Versus the Hulk, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. Yeah. Now, I do think... There is a point... Where All Might could... Just... Get him with a good amount of combos just to knock him out. Now we're not, yeah, but to kill, uh, to to subdue, potentially. I only say that because he was able to do that against the Nomu. Uh, oh, yeah. During I think it was season one where he said it took me a oh, hundred and fifty-seven blows to mighty blows. But what there's a comment that he said that in my prime. I could have taken him down in like seven strikes. Seven strikes? That Nomu had had a uh, shock absorption. Right? So like he was tanky. That's, that's a good that's a good comparison because yeah, I would say Nomu would be like a a Hulk, but with just a little bit more added like I don't, I don't say depth, but he was kind of there. Like, version of a version of a, a Hulk. Yeah, right. Like that's something comparable. So I do think, especially because All Might's battle IQ is high. Like he is smart. Even even when he lost all of his powers, he's still he's still coordinating with the police and yeah. and the Hero Association. Like he's he's making moves. So I think personally, I'm gonna have to give it All Might, but only as him being able to knock out the Hulk because the Hulk can be knocked out. Yeah. Temporarily. But can all might be knocked out? I don't know. I would assume so. But he, you're, you're we're banking on if well, the Hulk can land a punch at least on oh, on all might no, to the point where he gets knocked out as well, subdued. I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking he I'm thinking all might can can get his ass Okay, so then I think at this point it would be not who gets killed but who can get the first lick, like to get knocked out? Yeah, whoever gets the lucky blow, like it's literally fifty fifty. I would say a stalemate. If we're talking endurance, yeah, like endurance the long, wise, I think I the Hulk takes it. The, the Hulk will take it. But if it's a timed fight, like let's say it's like a tournament, right? Who can knock out who first? Mm -hmm. I think All Might can, can secure that win. I'm gonna go for the underdog on this one. I have to go Hulk. Yeah, if you're if you're saying intelligent Hulk, I would have to go. Yeah, that's true too. I would have to go. I'm not. I'm not I wasn't even thinking about intelligent Hulk. If it's because you said Hulk, you said this is Hulk. If we're doing all my yeah. prime, we're doing Hulk at basically stacked as well. Yep, yep. I would say he would know what he's doing compared to all the raged Hulk, enraged Hulk that we've seen. Yeah, I would say at least with this one, like comic book wise, like reading what I've read, I would say he would be able to last and play smart about it. Yeah. In regards of just not going blow for blow, he will strategically have to figure a way to knock him out without getting hit to the point where he gets knocked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll go with the underdog and I'll, I'll, I'll take Hulk. As let us know in the comments below.
All right, next up, this one is actually from the internet. Martian Manhunter versus Piccolo. <laughs> Martian Manhunter. Let's let's uh, dissect him a little bit. Martian uh, doesn't no like intended because he's an alien, <laughs> and that's what we do with aliens. Doesn't like fire. That that is his his like one real weakness. Um, in uh, changes form. Mm-hmm. Our actually called. Shapeshifter. Yeah, Shapeshifter, Shapeshifter. Metamorphosis, or whatever. Yeah. Um, can go invisible. Okay. Uh, Strong. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can fly. Uh, can he have an energy beam that he takes out? I don't think so. I don't so. think so. I don't think so. Basically, his only weakness is fire. Changes form. Really slick. Very smart. He disguises himself as a detective on earth yeah. so he's really smart piccolo him uh you say him him <laughs> everyone's father yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone's father's crazy yeah goku's or Go- gohan's real dad gohan's real dad gohan's real dad <laughs> um strong as well um has the uh, ability to Energy mm-hmm. using the ball. He has a special beam cannon. Is able to increase energy levels as well. Um now again, best version of himself, so we'll say he's fused with uh that Namekian and um I forget the name of the uh watcher. It's basically his other half, the older yeah, 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 one. What is his name? And get Russell for that one prime piccolo I'll, I'll have to go to piccolo i think i'm gonna have to give it to piccolo too i would have to go to piccolo I, because I think, piccolo is smart yeah piccolo is very smart i'm not saying martin you just said it too manhunter is smart as well but piccolo yeah. is people think, will probably be like why do i need to fight this guy <laughs> are you even a threat to my world <laughs> yeah. but if it came down to like hand to hand like martian was evil and piccolo even if piccolo was evil I I mean, piccolo say, was evil but yeah just, I would have to give it to Piccolo. I would have to go with that green. I think Piccolo has more abilities up his sleeve. Yeah. I do think that um, Martian Manhunter would be able to put up a, a fight. But with uh, Piccolo, you know, being able to shoot energy, like his special beam cannon, if that has like a heat signature to it, which I assume it does. I mean, they would take out Martian. Yeah, it's it's gonna affect Martian Manhunter. So I do think Piccolo uh, takes the cake on. Okay. All right. One that I wrote. I don't even know. I wrote this one. I, I think this is kind of a no-brainer. But Wonder Woman versus Sailor Moon. I don't know why I wrote that. But here's the thing: Sailor Moon is kind of an under. Part of the moon. Okay. Um. She. But- Greek goddess. Come on. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Greek goddess. <laughs> Made as a weapon. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. No brainer. Goes to Wonder Woman. Yeah. Uh, oh, this one is one that I really wanted to ask you. Roy Mustang versus Zuko. God damn it. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, oh. Roy Mustang. If you want him to be the colonel, if you want him to be brigadier general, if you want him to be lieutenant. Roy Mustang, instant bomb. Oh, instant I love bomb. Roy Mustang. The Flame Alchemist Himself. versus Zuko. Oh, this one's rough. That one is rough. This one, this one's really hard because it comes down with experience. Both are valid. Bo- both very good fight. I would love to see that fight. I would absolutely love to see that fight. Now you got me want to eat just so I can <laughs> give some myself some free food. So, break down each character. Roy Mustang, Flame Alchemist. Fought in the Ishvalan War. Known, known as cold blooded killer. One, one of, one of, one of his, uh, lines that he of how he describes himself bombs on command snap snap and you're done 
Right. Smart. Very smart. Hand to hand combat. I don't think he has it. No, Mm-mm. I don't think he has any hand to hand combat. I haven't seen any uh, throughout any of the meeting of Homer Alchemist. So he would have to be smart to keep his distance from Zuko. Mm-hmm. Now, Prince Zuko. Him. 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 He Where have you been? Is obviously Prince. Eventually becomes Fire Lord. Becomes the Emperor of the Fire Nation. You know, Agni Kai at a young age from his father. Mm-hmm. Scar to his face. Burn. Exiled to find the avatar which he did find went up against quite a few different military battles himself at the north pole uh or the south pole or north pole south pole south pole because then they end up going to the north pole right well either way with the water trial he fought both, <laughs> he fought both. no matter he fought both, he fought both. <laughs> his whole um Growing experience throughout the Earth Kingdom, betrayed his his uncle. How it hurts. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Mm. Betrayed, wow! Betrayed his uncle, and uh, actually, uh, shout out, rest in peace to the original voice actor of um, Uncle Iroh, mm-hmm. uh, Mako. His the anniversary of his death was actually a couple of days ago, I think. Yes. So somewhere around. There. Uh, rest in peace. Fought against a prodigy of the fire nation multiple times his sister azula being able to do lightning <laughs> ka-chow. Yeah, ka-chow. <laughs> <laughs> um but fought against many many different vendors of different elements has had his own fights his own but get to mention, or at least I forgot to mention, that he is the last one to be able to learn firebending from actual dragons. The last person before him was his uncle. Uncle so know. good. Uncle so good. He said he killed him. They believed it. Boy, it's cold blooded. Boy, it's cold blooded. But Zuko himself, nonetheless was able to redirect lightning himself. You know, he was able to pull off a lot of just impeccable things. Pretty damn good. Now, Roy Mustang versus- With all that being said. (laughs) All that being said, takes the dub. I think when they encounter each other, Roy Mustang's like- Yeah. But I think Zuko's battle IQ yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He th- back at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? And he's going to do everything he can just to get up close and personal. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, of course. Getting right up. He's bringing the fight to him. Yep. And I do think Zuko, we forgot to mention, Zuko had his his whole, his whole uh, sneaky, sneaky agent uh, spiel. With the mask. Oh, yeah. And yeah, his yeah. two swords. <laughs> that threw me off for a minute. I was He's like, fast. I thought you meant like a sneaky link. I was like, who is he with? <laughs> and what does this pertain to the battle? But yes. He was yes. fast. So is he as fast as Scar? I would argue maybe faster because he could use his firebending to propel him. Yep. Right? Now, weaknesses between the two. Uh, Zuko, bring up his father. Uh, <laughs> Pride. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, Roy Mustang. Hopefully it's a rainy day, or you get his gloves off of him. Now, I do think with the way Zuko fights, you gotta get close enough. Yeah. Do a fire blast. Yep. And burn those gloves. He'll 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 definitely get a couple licks in too. So yeah, he'll for sure. Now, if. Roy treats him as a as a father level threat from the get go. I don't think Zuko has a chance. He's immediately yeah 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But as we know, 
Roy, he likes to let things play out to how he everyone's full capable. Yep. Their capabilities. Zuko he's one he's one to go in, get it done. Little yeah. literal hothead. Yeah. One to go in, get it done, leave. There's a reason why uh Zuko went with Katara. Um uh gather information around around um uh, the Fire Nation. Do you remember that? When they're sneaking around? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Because and it done. She enlisted him because she knows he is a cold blooded guy. Uh, it, that I, lo- I love Roy. Love Roy. I do. Cold motherfucker. I do. But I have to give it to Zuko. I think I have to give it to Zuko also. I have to give it to Zuko too. Because, uh, again, just realistically, there's no way that that Roy Mustang is going to instantly bomb someone without knowing who. Yeah. And this being just put them up against each other, Roy's going to see what's up. Yeah. He's going to see what's up. And he's- but he needs to keep his distance. And if he can't keep his distance, Zuko's got it. Yep. So, so. I think takes the dub. All right, we'll do one last one. Deku versus Spider-Man. Now, Deku, and the reason I compare him to Spider-Man is because obviously both have super strength. Yep. Both are quite fast. Both have a, yeah, black whip, spider yeah. whips, mm-hmm. able to whip around. Deku has danger sense. Mm-hmm. Spider Man, Spidey sets. They are able to uh, intuitively predict yeah. attacks. Both are young, depending on what Spider Man you want to do. Both are young. Both, I would say, haven't reached their full potential. Full potential. Yeah. And both are a little naive as well. Spider Man has this thing where he tries to make his villains realize, hey, what are you doing? Oh, you're right. <laughs> Same thing with Deku. They got, yeah. both of them got talk no jutsu. Yeah. So I think it will have to come down to battle experience. Yeah, if it comes down to hand to hand, just them together, not even killing each other, just to just knock one out the ring or knock each other out. Mm-hmm. Battle experience wise, damn. Comic wise, Spider Man's been through a lot. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? I, th- but- I do think I've, uh, they've sh- they've described it very well in the anime that Deku is fighting style is very predictable. Mm-hmm. The way he overcomes that is just by being fast. Yeah. Versus Spider Man. Very loose. He's all over the place. Yeah. Fight kick the fuck out of you. Maybe you yep. slam you onto the mm-hmm. ground, right? Like he's very, very unpredictable. I don't think Deku would be able to calculate his fighting style fast enough. Yeah. I do think strength wise, Deku might overpower oh, him. Oh, for sure. But so like Spider Man has to has to get him in a web quick, has to do something to just put him down quick. Yeah. I do think Spider-Man will outwit him. Yeah. He'll be more clever with the way he engages uh, his attacks. I do think I do think there is going to be a scenario where both of them will get webbed up or black whipped like restrained and they're both going to break out. Yeah, of course. So I So they're going to get web webbed up or restrained at one point. I don't think the restraints are going to be able to hold either. So it's going to come down to just their raw strength, their speed, and their cunning. I do think Deku is stronger and faster. I mean... Way str- way faster. Yeah. Way stronger. I mean, when he's able to do his full 100%, yeah. Bajin, and... I mean, he flew by a speeding bullet. Yeah. Right? From Lady Nagant. I just don't think... Deku is clever enough to beat Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Statistics wise, beats him. Strength, strength and speed for him. And that battle IQ. Spider Man, I think, 
come up with something clever. If we do one round, Deku might get him. Yeah. If we do best out of seven, Spider Man will probably take the cake because he'll learn patterns. He'll learn. You know, it'll what? be a close one. It will be a very close one, but Spider Man will adapt very quickly. Now, I'm not saying Deku won't either, but like I said, like you said as well, and it's very looking at about looking back at it now, watching it. Yes, very predictable. Yeah, very predictable. So I would have to give it to Spider Man experience wise overall if it was a seven game battle. Yeah. I, seven game, I seven will agree battles. to that as seven well. Seven series battle, yeah. I will agree to that as well. I think I think uh just it's gonna be the the seventh game decider. Yeah. And I think Spider Man by that seventh game like came up with the plan. Yeah. I agree to that. Because in first encounter, uh it's it has been shown in comics where Spider Man does encounter a, a new bad guy, gets his ass whooped because he just didn't know what to expect. Yeah. And he learns, he adapts, mm-hmm. and then and comes out victorious. Uh they I mean a lot of comic comics do that where it's like a redemption story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn so, you learn and you, yeah. you keep going. Yeah, but that does redemption. create a a pattern for Spider Man. So yeah, I think if it was a one v one First, right off the bat, I think Deku might take that dub. Deku definitely will take that dub. But then long term battle, seven battle, uh, like series. competition series. Yeah. Uh, I think Spider Man will walk away with the overall win. Yeah. yeah that was good, man. How, do you, solid. how did you feel about all those verses? I think I'm okay with all of them. I yeah. think I'm good with all of them. You know, see, there, there's some that I want. I won't say all of them, but some of these are. Uh, Dexter, uh, Dexter's Lab versus Ultron. Oh, oh! I think Dexter takes a dub. I think Dexter too, I, because like J- Jimmy, he's coming up. He's inventing stuff. Yeah, but Dexter, he's he's been inventing stuff to whoop ass. Yeah, yeah, exactly, you know, like, exactly. Like Dexter's been trying to create like weapons and things. Yeah, but like Jimmy does it just for the fun of it yeah. and for his friends. Now, but I mean, like if you put it down to like for a battle, you could be a good battle. But seeing what Dexter's made, Dexter have made, remembering as a kid, I would yeah, I would have to give it. I would have to give it to Dexter. Uh, this one was just so rare. Uh, Bakugo, uh, okay. Murder God Explosion Dynamite <laughs> versus Combustion Man from uh, Avatar: The Last Air. Remember Eyeball Man? I don't know. I don't know too much about Combustion Man. I, I'd give it to Bakugo. I would go. I would give it to Bakugo because we know he's smart. Did you watch the last uh, My Hero Academia? How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it, bro? I'm hurt. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? I'm hurt. See the way that they gave the the spiel. Uh, Katsuki Bakugo can uh, secretes a a nitroglycerin like yeah, yeah, substance yeah, yeah. through yeah, his yeah. sweat through his hands. But then he's like, it evolved. He's sweating through every pore of his body. And then when he when he right behind him boy was giving his all and i was like let's go he's got it he's figured his way in life <laughs> yeah but then you saw the uh the second like panel when he was when he, when he said i have I've always wanted to ask you this can i have your autograph he's like why is he asking him this now no 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 i was like oh my god yeah. oh so good might have to get a Bakugo tattoo. <laughs> that yeah. might be my hero, my hero academia Dead tattoo. Ass? It might be a Bakugo tattoo. That ass, bro. Oh man, it hurt my soul. That hurt. Uh, I'm not spoiling anything. As you know, I don't care about spoilers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I know little bits here and uh-huh. there. I'm not trying to spoil anything for you guys that are watching either. How about this? You can spoil it for me. Just bleep it out, and I just want to see my reaction. I don't mind it. I because I've gone to that point where like I've watched enough anime in a very short amount of time because you know a lot of people like they'll like mo- like you dom doll like you guys watch it like week by week me like i'm so far behind on almost everything yeah the only thing i'm really actually caught up on literally like week by week would be like my, my hero now you yeah. know uh demon slayer yeah, uh, i mean that ended though. anything that's current but I, but like everything else i had to like yeah you're consume ha- it yeah so i'm so technically desensitized to be like oh my god what's gonna happen next like oh next episode <laughs> oh, next episode. Yeah. Now it's just like my hero now and Demon Slayer is like, oh, what's gonna happen next? So go oh. ahead and spoil it. Okay, you can I'll, bleep I'll it, bleep out. it out. 
bleep out the whole thing and then just watch my reaction. If it's that, if, if it's that worthy, I'm not saying if it's that worthy, well, but I just want to. I don't know how much of a shock it's going to be for you. Yeah, but um. Oh, thank God. Okay, I, I, <laughs> woo, I want, boy. Let me tell you this. I wanted to just to see his reaction, yeah. but I was like, he "Is dead." Yeah, he's dead right now. Okay, I don't think he's alive either. I don't think he's alive. And well, he's definitely not alive right now. Yeah, I don't think he's alive when. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So. Take that in mind. But even then, um, the way he went out. Just because he's alive doesn't mean the key factor. In yeah. I Because I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but from what I know, he does make it out of that fight. But like, from what I know how it happens, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that for you to discover. That's fine. Because it's, it's like... When old boy, when best genius was like, let me sew you up, and he's over here, right? My finger. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm. gave me Rock Lee vibes. Boy was locked in. Boy was just like, I'm in this fucking fight. Just sew me the fuck up. Just get me in there. I was like, mm. dude, even, even, even in the previous episode where he's like, that was my best attack. How far behind am I? Yeah. I was like, oh, he's leveling up again. Yeah. Boy is about to. Well, Okay. When he started, when he disappeared and went right behind, oh, I was like, oh! <laughs> you know, I heard Academia again. I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's it's this age's uh, Naruto, yeah. next generation. It's Naruto. up there. It is it is up there? Definitely up there. We're like in the early stages. Like I would feel like early stage. Ah, mother. Oh, okay. but it's technically the manga's ending, isn't it? Yeah, I think the last episode comes out this week. Yeah, but there's still a good amount of story for it to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I meant like like the actual manga itself is. Yeah, is. Yeah, because uh, I think adults said that it's next month. I think it comes out. Yep, it it is. But all right, guys, thank you for watching another episode of the Barely Brothers podcast. Uh, let us know if there are any verses that you would like us to talk about. Uh, whoever you want it to be, if you want it to be anime versus anime, uh, cartoon versus cartoon, uh, cartoon versus. TV show, anime. yeah, whatever, heroes, yeah, whatever you want to yeah. talk about, let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for more content and give us a thumbs up. Trying to give you quality entertainment. Not to other comments. Uh, no, yeah, just engage with us, guys. We'll talk about it in the next episode. You know, closed mouths don't get fed. Closed mouths don't get fed. Ask your mother. That's why I'm going to be at dinner tonight. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>